We all want to buy properties when prices are record low, but prices are record low only when the market is down, and the market gets down only because there's a negative trigger for it to get down. Whether it's politics based or it's economic based, there has to be something really bad that happened somewhere in the market for the market to be down. But here where it gets tricky in my opinion, when you have this negative circumstances and force that's pushing prices down, people forget or tend to forget about the price level and the opportunity to enter the market and they just overthink and overanalyze what caused a crash or what caused a slowdown. We all have to be realistic here. For any market to crash or for any market to slow down, you need to have this, whether it's economics or social or government related or politics related, whatever it is, you need to have something bad or negative. Uh, otherwise, if all the news is good, why would prices go down? Prices would just continue to go up. Of course, let's make no mistake about this. We always have to understand why prices went down and when is the market most likely to recover. Uh, but we should not allow this to blind us from seeing and identifying opportunities in the market by simply being realistic and objective. <music>